My wife refuses to accept our divorce and I think she's trying to trick me. My wife, 29 female, and I, 34 male, have been married for four years, and up until a year and a half ago, things were fantastic. Our marriage began to deteriorate after there was a significant drop in love making between us, not intimacy, just the actual love making part of the relationship. We would still cuddle and have deep intimate moments talking and just being around each other, but she kept rejecting my attempts at taking things further past kissing. Now we have had no problem communicating so I made sure to address it early, and we talked and made adjustments. We both made sure to stay in shape, we tried being more adventurous, we went to couples therapy and counseling, and even tested both of our hormone levels, everything was normal. Each solution would work for a little while and then we'd be back to making love maybe once a month. I asked her several times if she was no longer attracted to me, to which she denied every time. I asked her if I was falling short in the relationship in any other way, to which she said no. Well about a month ago, she gets back from her therapy session, and tells me that she believes that she's asexual and that's the reason for her libido being non-existent as of late. I was definitely confused because we had such great love making for a while in the beginning of our relationship but her telling me that she's now asexual was heartbreaking because everything else is great. Obviously I'm not going to force her to make love, so we had a long conversation about our relationship and I came to the conclusion that we should get a divorce. I say, I, because she immediately rejected the idea and said we would figure something out and wouldn't talk to me about it anymore. I didn't know what to say so I dropped it. Well three weeks go by, without love making, and I decided that I have to do this for my own mental well-being so I filed for divorce and had her served with the papers. Last week when I got home from work, she was going about the day like nothing was wrong. I asked her if she signed the papers and she flat out said, we are not getting a divorce and changed the subject and acted like things were normal. Obviously I thought this was crazy so I stopped her and said I couldn't be in a marriage devoid of lovemaking, and I mentioned that I was being incredibly fair with our divorce. She can keep the house that we bought and paid for with cash, she paid one third I paid two thirds, I'd take all of the debt which isn't much, we'd split our savings and investments in half, and she can keep two of our three paid off cars, I only wanted to keep my sports car. Thankfully we don't have kids. I love her and wanted her to be comfortable and I have no problem starting over since I make a good income, but she won't budge or talk about the divorce. This brings us to two days ago. I get home and go to our bedroom and find my wife's friend, 27 female, in our bed exposed. I immediately shut the door, said sorry, and went looking for my wife. I found her in the kitchen and asked what her friend was doing here, and she said that she was here for me. I put two and two together and said that I'm not making love with other women in place of the woman I chose to marry. She was adamant on saying that I could sleep with her whenever I wanted and that her friend agreed to it. I couldn't believe things would get this far so I went back to our bedroom and asked her friend to leave. I packed a bag and I've been staying in a hotel nearby since that night. My wife, her mother, and her sister keep calling me but I'm just not interested in hearing what they have to say. This feels like a trick. I just want this whole thing to be over. Does anyone have advice? Is this some kind of ploy for alimony? We do have a prenup? Should I just contact my lawyer and try and force the divorce? I'm really uncomfortable with this entire situation. Edit, we talked last night, I'll update when I get home from work. Edit 2, my wife came to my hotel last night and we talked about everything. She told me the full truth and what's going on in her mind. 1. A few of you commented this in the last post so you were right. She has always been asexual, she and her whole family has known this since she was 16. Apparently this is the reason why her last long-term relationship of 3 years ended. He broke up with her after the lovemaking between them diminished to being non-existent after the first year. She told me that lovemaking is easier for her in the beginning when emotions are running high but she still needs to force herself to have it. I knew they broke up due to irresolvable differences but I didn't ask for details nor did she tell me. After a lot of apologies and crying she told me that I was the first person she was able to tolerate lovemaking with for so long and that she did enjoy it a handful of times, but after a while she still felt like she was being ripped. I broke down after hearing this and started kicking myself for not catching on to any of this. She said she tried her best to please me as much as she could. 2. She still doesn't want a divorce and she doesn't want the house, cars, or the savings, she just wants me and is ready to do whatever it takes to keep me. She even said that she would sign a postnup stating this. 3. As for her friend, she was there during her last breakup and helped to support her through it. My wife went to her after I brought up divorce and talked things out. Her friend suggested that she open the relationship for me but she said she didn't want me sleeping with strange women so her friend volunteered herself to be the one that sleeps with me, my wife thought this was a great idea which led to the fiasco at our house. I won't comment on her appearance because it doesn't matter, and I don't blame the friend. 4. My lawyer got back to me, you were alright. I don't need her permission but I will have to wait if I want to push it through. 5. I asked her why she lied to me to me this entire time and she said she was tired of being rejected after revealing she was asexual, so she convinced herself that she would be able to force herself to make love during the relationship. The hormone testing, the sessions in couples therapy, and all of our solutions was just her buying time to find another way around love making or give herself enough time to build up the strength to start regularly making love with me again. 6. Our conversation ended with us holding each other in bed crying for a couple of hours. No we didn't make love. She pleaded with me to hold off on the divorce to look for a solution together and left my hotel room. 7. I'm now sitting alone typing this post. I guess I found out that we don't share everything with each other. 8. I don't know what I'm going to do. Update 2. After my last update, my wife asked me to meet with her about a week later to discuss things with her. I've been staying at an extended stay since that night with her friend. We met at our house and talked for a few hours. She started off with a ton of apologies for how she acted, 
her lying about her sexuality, and not taking my intimate needs more seriously. Before I could say anything she presented a signed post-nup agreement she had drafted with a lawyer stating that she doesn't want anything, the house, the cars, savings, everything. I felt like the biggest asshole for thinking that she was tricking me for more money. I asked her if she was serious and she told me to take the post-nup with me and sign it when I'm ready. I still haven't signed it, it's in my backpack. I told her that I still think divorce is our best course of action and that we both deserve to find someone who matches our needs. She still refused and borderline begged me to reconsider, she started crying and so did I. Seeing her like this was devastating. I told her that her finding other women to sleep with me wasn't going to work. What if I develop feelings for them? What if I get one of them pregnant? Do we expect her to get an abortion? She said we'll figure it out as we go along and to please give her more time to work on other solutions. She set up appointments for lovemaking and hormone therapy, and is seeing a lovemaking guru. I said that it sounds like we're going through the same things again but she was adamant and pleaded with me to wait. There were more apologies on both sides and we kissed for a while before ending the conversation, then I went back to my hotel that night. A few days later I tried texting her but she didn't respond, so I called her dad. I'm avoiding her mother and sister since they are saying the same things as my wife. Her dad told me that she moved back home and has been holed up in her room since our talk. She called out of work. He told me that she's barely eating, bathing, or talking to him or her mom. He asked me what I was going to do but I didn't have an answer for him. He just said he understands and said he would be here to talk anytime I wanted to. So I went back to our house and a good portion of her stuff was gone. The whole place feels empty. I've been sleeping in one of the spare rooms. I'm planning on flying to my mother's house in a couple weeks to spend time with my family to decompress from this entire situation. I'm still on the divorce side of the fence but I guess there's no rush. Thank you to everyone for your insight and concern, seriously, I know we're all strangers but most of you have been a huge help to my mental health, seriously, thank you. Also my cousin uses Reddit and reached out after he found my last post and asked me to shout him out if I made an update. Love you Virgil, thank you for being there for me. I think I'll just make a quick edit to this post once we reach a resolution for anyone that cares.